How's it going guys, JCVP11 here and welcome back to another Let's Talk Tech episode. So I haven't done one of these in quite a while, so if you're not sure what I'm going to be talking about, you can go ahead and click the playlist in the description to learn more about these type of videos. But without further ado, in today's video we are going to be talking about solar powered smartphones. At this moment in time, even the most basic calculators and high-end watches are being powered by solar energy. Now the abundance of this type of energy, because the sun is everywhere, right, makes me wonder why this type of energy hasn't yet been implemented in smartphones. I think if regular phones didn't get replaced by smartphones in the past couple of years, we would have seen a lot of progression in this type of technology and who knows, we could have been using Nokia phones right now with solar receptor cells built into the phone. But with the introduction of smartphones, power conservation has gone out the window. Most tasks on smartphones require a lot of power and maybe that's why solar energy hasn't been implemented yet. Because relying only on solar energy may be inefficient for the phone itself and the fact that solar receptor cells take a lot of space on smartphones and are expensive could make this option a very unpopular one at first for companies. Digging through the record that JCVP11 keeps, the average smartphone user uses their phone for 7 hours which seems like a lot of time but once you start using your phone, it seems like nothing. With most customers already in favor of wireless charging, inclusion of solar receptor cells on smartphones could take this a step further. Of course here in Dubai the sun never leaves, but this could work in other places because the solar receptor cells are well capable of utilizing ambient light. So all you'd have to do is keep your phone on your desk and let the light around you charge the phone, like the one I'm using up top which reflects straight onto my glasses and I know you're distracted by it. Sure this method would be really slow, but the extra percentages on your battery life would save a life. Maybe not. But you get what I'm saying, right? And over a period of time, as technology progresses, people are sure to develop better ways in utilizing this type of technology. With solar cells already powering certain power banks, this feature on smartphones is really not far and we could expect it not from maybe major manufacturers, but certainly from smaller manufacturers who want to make a statement or a bold statement in order to attract the initial audience. But that's just me, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and we could have a discussion in the comment section if you agree or disagree. As always, thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, adios.